hello everyone in this video i will tell you how to directly use graph api microsoft graph api in canvas apps so this is our graph api explorer here you can use different types of api links and urls and if you want to check the total uh, documentation of the graph api of microsoft you can check here this uh, uh, portal microsoft has uh, posted here so different types of calls like user calls user api gra groups api application api different apis are available so we'll see how you can call so this is a example where uh, you can get your current profile details a running user profile details first of all you have to sign in this uh, uh, graph api explorer so that you can run queries api queries now let us see how we can uh, run this query i want to call this web api from my canvas app and provided you have to log in so that you can test your api in graph explorer okay so let us go to the canvas app and create a uh, sample app to use this api url and uh, call directly from canvas app so let us give a name here graph api demo and once the graph api demo is created as a canvas app you can use a connector called as office 365 groups so let us use that and uh, provided that you should have proper permission to access the api right we'll see that permissions now let us uh, go to the data object and in the data object you have to search office 365 groups okay this office 365 groups connector helps to directly call the graph api uh, request using http call okay so let us take a button here on the canvas app and when you click that button i want to call the web api microsoft graph api now give a name of the button let's say uh, get my profile and on the click of this button i want to write down a power fx but before that let us uh, design some labels to display the return data okay let's say i want to display the current login username and current username email id and you can use all other information that are returning from the my profile so let let's go to the button and on select i want to call office 365 office group office 365 groups dot http request this http request is the method by which you can directly call a graph api from canvas app using office 365 connector now directly use the uri here the uh, a graph api url and the next is verb the api verb whether you are getting the record or posting the data and whatever data that returns i want to store as a global variable let's say i want to declare here my profile and using set power fx i'm assigning the return value to the my profile variable okay and in the label i want to assign the my profile dot the uh, return response or the property so i can use my profile which is a on on uh, unidentified data type uh, normally what happens this unidentified data type is actually supported by on typed object and you have to enable this feature using this uh, settings once it is enabled you can use the properties of this on typed object and it will return data now if you uh, this if you use the property in the response display name for example it will display the value of that display name property you see guys this is now returning data so whatever in the variable that is available in the response uh, response from the api and we can bind to our label i can take another label also to bind other response types for example i want to bind email field email id then also i can bind that so this api explorer graph api explorer will help you what is the request and what response you are getting so that you can get idea and implement in your canvas app it's not about my profile there are many other use cases uh, are there in business where we call graph api and use it in our project like uh, in microsoft teams sharepoint all the applications related apis are also available in graph api okay so let's take another uh, 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 label to display email now you can see my profile dot email right so this way you can get 
all related information from graph api so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand how you can directly call graph api from canvas app uh, thanks everyone bye